What's up folks? My wife and I will be getting down at Finders Keepers here in uh, Kingsville, Texas today. Our little indoor flea market spot. Doing a walk around, just kind of looking, see what my buddy Mike and Pete may have put out for in the way of vintage loose or carded. So let's head in and see some real cool vintage collectibles. See you inside. Check it one time, boy. Well, he's an Where indoor cat. They? Oh, they live. Uh, they live in. Side? They live in Alice, like out in the country. But uh, they love him. Like he's got a good setup. So he's super happy. That's good. Yeah, it's a good story for him. So I was happy to hear all that. Yeah. She said he's a good cat for his age. They, uh, the doctor told him he was about six months old.
Ritmo. Mira. ¿Por qué? Vanity. Hey, don't be video much shit. Scared the shit out of me. What's <laughs> up, <laughs> so, buddy? How you doing? So good. Okay. Good, good. Yourself? Good. Who do you up to? Not too much, man. Just, just around. We just got back from uh, the flea market in Corpus. So oh yeah. There's hardly no one out there. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was loaded, but there was no toys out there. Yeah, that was. It was. It was all junk. Yeah. Too hard, sir. Yes, uh, Tauntaun's crazy. Huh? <laughs> He's huge. I think we're gonna really try to go. Are you freaked out how much stuff there is at that show? Like it's really like crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I got it saved now, so I'm gonna really see. Yeah, that's, the only bad thing about it, like I said, is that it's on a Sunday. Right. But other than that, it's it's pretty good. Show. Hey, uh, I'm kind of getting used to that. That's the days when people can do it because they're. It was. It's actually. It was. A better show on Saturday. Right. Saturday but, was better? Yeah. But, uh... Right. Yeah. I, I honestly, like, right now, dude, I don't have... I, I just have a bunch of things. So you gotta restock the inventory eventually? Yeah, I got... But I have... I haven't really messed with too much because I have... I want Remember when I the wet grass falling a step behind? Some cool stuff today. Man, this car is dope. I could put some of my characters in there, 118th. There it is. Twenty bucks. That's not bad. That car is cool as hell. That could be Yoda's car. <laughs> nice. This thing is cool. This Casper light. The middle, that one? Uh -huh. How much is it? It's pretty cool. I think it's missing a couple of pieces. It is cool though. You gonna take it? All right, my friends, so I'm back at home. Uh, ended up having a nice, fun little run through of uh, Finders Keepers with the wifey. This is actually all I picked up this time, not much, but I really think it's great. It's 118th scale, as you can see, Ford 1937 uh, convertible. It's a collect collector's edition. It has like a little uh, plaque that it sits on top of there. There's the logo. Really nice looking. Here's the side here. Shows you all the all the parts that open and close. It's really, really cool looking. So, and it actually steers. I'm not gonna leave it in this box because I actually bought it for, for my uh, action figure. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and then we'll take a look out of it out of the box. So I'll be right back. 
<clears throat> okay, this bad boy has been taken out of the packaging. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you really quick. So, the door's open here. And if you look here, the steering wheel does turn the wheels, which is awesome. The hood opens and uh, supposedly this opens as well. Let's see. Let me use a little sharp object. Let's see which way it opens. Oh, there it is. So, really awesome. You can use this. <clears throat> I think it looks really good. Uh, I want to use one of my smaller characters. This was actually intended to be Yoda's because it's green and it will probably be eventually, but Gonzo is closer. So for this figure, the 118 scale, he fits in awesomely. As you can see, you can pose him with the wheel and all. So that's gonna work really good for, for Dio. All right, aside from that awesome green convertible, which is gonna be definitely the Yoda mobile whenever I get to get some stickers and do a little customizing on it. <laughs> Picked up a couple other items. I got an early 90s Extreme Dinosaur. And this guy is incredible. Really huge. So definitely, definitely picking those guys up. Also picked up a loose <clears throat> Dick Tracy. Comes with his holster and his gun. Which got some paint love on it, so really cool looking. Picked up a couple items that I've shown on a live, I think. And that is Beetlejuice's convertible here. So I'm really stoked to pick this bad boy up. You can see how beautiful it is. This is a loose Beetlejuice with it. You can see this comes out here, spins around. So when you roll it, you can see that item spins in there. Of course, he has those little cool worm looking things come out of his head when you squeeze them. And then I picked up this fella too. So I guess something's wrong with his little action. That's okay. He looks great. So that's going to be my haul. I hope you enjoyed the hunt. I love this place. Whenever I can thrift, that's the place to go. It's like a really cool thrift consignment. There's old stuff, new stuff, all kinds of cool stuff. But I'm stoked to have been able to pick up some vehicles this week. So this is the Tattoo Twin reminding you never give up that hunt. Pew, 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 pew. Peace, y'all take care.